Hi everyone, Matt Carver here with Bearwood Supply. I'd like to share with you the arrival of my shaft chisels. I got the 12 piece set in addition to the 7 piece set. And although I haven't opened it, my favorite, or at least the object of my greatest desire, a fish tool set. So that's the four piece. So we'll go through those in a sec. Let's look at the 12 piece set. Let me move this down so you can see them. All right, so this 12 piece set, opening them, you gotta admit that this nice fabric, strong, it's not going to uh, let the tool cut through it. it. Looks pretty great. And would you look at that? That is pretty cool. You know, I'm certain whether you're a beginner or a journeyman or an advanced carver, this roll would really make you pretty happy. It would impress anyone. This is meant to keep you safe. It's also meant to keep the tools from getting damaged. Now that's pretty cool. And it looks like, yeah, every, every roll has these. So those are a great addition. I don't think there's one of us that hasn't opened a tool roll and felt that, you know, without perfect attention to detail, you couldn't get hurt. So this is a really nice addition. That's going to make a lot of carvers happy. Okay. so. That's super, and it's really well woven in there. And Okay, so that's really cool. And I've never seen that on a tool rule before. So that's quite cool. So, you know, basically the tool rule itself is, you know, uh, pretty burly, pretty tough. It's nice. Looks like it will last like yeah, forever. So, you know, let's go through here. All right, so from the outset, we are going to get a number of chisels here. We're going to get a number one at eight millimeter. That means that we're going to get a straight flat chisel, double edged, which is perfect for carving, at least in my opinion. That's one. We have a skew that's also eight millimeter. That will be used quite a lot. All right. We have a number five, eight millimeter. Now these numbers, um, I can explain these in another video as well if you'd like, but for the most part we're talking about the arc and um, the tool is a number five arc. The distance across from corner to corner along that arc is the eight millimeter. That's a nice one and also will be getting used. Each one of these tools I've noticed has this plastic dip. Or, or rather it was dipped in plastic. I thought it might be wax, but it's actually plastic. That's pretty cool. So this is meant to further safe the tool from you know injuring yourself or um, damaging the tool. Very cool. We have a 520 millimeter. We have a 76 millimeter. Very nice. We got a 714 millimeter. That will be used a lot. Okay, this is nice. It's a 7L. Wow, you know what? 7L. Okay, I was gonna talk about that later, but you know, you don't often see an L in a starter set. So that's a that's a real big benefit. An L is a long bent, so see how the chisel is not flat or straight? That's quite cool. All right, next up is an eight four millimeter. That will be used quite a bit. We have here a spoon, and that's measured by the A on the eight A 10 millimeter. That's gonna be nice to work with. We have a nine 10 millimeter. Number nine, I haven't used a lot of number nines in my time, but I can see myself using it. 
it's so burly. Look at this tool. This thing is so thick. It's so powerful looking. You know, you could hit this with a mallet all day. Wouldn't heat up the tool. The tool wouldn't vibrate when you're smashing into things. And this is this is a tough tool. We have here a 11 three millimeter. That three millimeter will get used a lot. That's nice, very nice. Okay, we will end our 12 piece with a 12 six millimeter. And it is a V gouge or rather a V parting tool. That's useful also. All right, let me get rid of some of this. <clears throat> I can't get over this tool roll. This thing is so cool. Very nice. Okay, let's move that aside. All right, here we go. Look at this, and here, here, and here, here, and here. All right, so we got the plastic covering that's been removed. There's a great benefit as it's there for safety. Now, let's look at the handle. The handle, it's um, it's pretty nice. It looks super simple to hold. It's hard for me to move my hand or slip. It's very sturdy. That's pretty nice. So the okay, so the tool, the shank, sits in on top of this block. So that means that when you're hitting the tool or using the tool, it the pressure coming off the tool will go directly into the block handle and not be um, not hit it in a way that could splinter the tool or have it break on you. That's that's a good benefit and it's the way it should work, I think. So that's very nice. There um I love this one, two, six sided tool that allows you to hold on to it and not slip off. That's very nice. Okay, I'm very happy with this handle as well. Fantastic. Let's look at um, the sharpness of the blade. Well, before we go into the sharpness of the blade, I'd like to actually look at this. Um, try not to spend too much time on it, but this shank is thick. It looks like it could put up with some punishment. And if you're hitting this with a mallet, <clears throat> and that looks like it's going to last. The steel is strong. I think it's a, they measured in at a Rockwell uh, 59 or 60, just as strong as a file, if not stronger, tool, the Swiss made ones. And um, it's, um, it's strong. It's actually, I think, let's check it. Let's look at um, this tool. Here is a file chisel. And it is thicker. Can you see that? So this guy is thicker here than it is here. So this guy is going to be able to put up with some punishment, I'm pretty sure. But <laughs> let's not punish it, right? But um, that's just, that's a hunk of metal. Fantastic. Okay, so... The handles are great. The steel is good. The, the sharpening, let's see that. Let's see how, how strong it is. How, piece of scrap here. I personally prefer that the factory sharpen my tools because if they sharpen the tools, then it's 95% complete. And in most cases, when you get the tools, they can cut. And they'll work, but, you know, each carver has his own way of doing things. And so I think that, you know, once you get your tool, you're going to go, okay, you know what? This bevel is a little too strong for me. The, you know, the area where uh, the cutting edge is set is too round or what have you, you know. Personally, when I get a tool, I prefer that this bevel be less pronounced and that these corners be more rounded up to the top so when i get that done it's so much smoother it goes through the wood better it's far 
better for me at least. So, it, you know, over the years, I've just determined that that's what I like. So when I get the tool from the factory, you know, sharpened, and it takes a little finessing from my personal style, I really like being able to get the tool in 95% done and then make my own little finesse um, uh, changes. So, you know, as you can see, factory sharpened means it's still cutting, it still works. It's just a matter of preference when you get them in and what you want to change on them. Look at the, um, I don't know, let's look at the selection, I guess. So here's the 12-piece set. We have a pretty strong gouge here. It's at 9, so that's going to be just less than a circle. But, you know, it's pretty good. It's nice. It's sturdy. Balance is nice. Okay, so that's a nice one. It would be used quite a bit. Very nice. Spoon gouge. This one for relief carving is probably not as used for me but I can see myself using it when you have a project and you need to get in like say here you know you might want to be able to get in there and cut that out of there and not use say for example something like this because it doesn't function properly you'd have to do a lot of tiny cuts to get that out and this particular tool is good for this so it's a specialty at least for my work so it is useful it will get used it's just not going to be used every um, every time I pull up a carving so this is good it's kind of a specialty for me this is a great uh, flat straight chisel this one will be used constantly I use these tools and the skew the skew is going to be used constantly every single project probably multiple multiple times per uh, hour as I work on a project this is great this is a 5.8 this is great too it's gonna be perfect for moving material this is more of a detail knife and uh, every one of my projects goes from a block of wood to detail. So eventually it gets used. It just doesn't get used in the beginning. At this, this point, it's quite nice. I'm going to have to do a lot of bevel removal on this new set. It's a nice V-gouge. I'll have to do a little work on that. But God, that's pretty. It's so powerful looking compared to what I've used for the last 25 years. Chef has done a really nice job on this. This long bent just gets me. Honestly, I've never received a long bent in any tool roll I've ever purchased from the get-go. I've had to go back and search for what I needed and then get it individually. And so this just kind of shocks me. That's fantastic. Um, very cool. This one is great, It'll be used constantly as well. It's got a great measurement of 14 millimeters and that means I can either hack off or finesse some wood off as well. Very nice, very useful. This is a much larger tool, this is a 20 millimeter. This may not get as much work on my smaller works like, you know, this dragon thingy that I'm doing. This is a smaller project and I do a lot of projects that size which was approximately the size of an American piece of paper so eight and a half by eleven or so that's a lot of my projects so when I work on signs and I do signs for you know businesses or you know these are the Jones or some family signs this will be used constantly because 20 millimeters is approximately the size at which I'd be hacking off material so this is a very good as is this one <laughs> so yeah i'm just kind of excited here these are fantastic tools i'm very happy to have that okay so i think for the most part uh, most of these you know 90 percent of these will be used on any one of the projects i'd be doing on a constant basis so these will be used uh, for the larger works as will this and in some cases, this will be used at the very beginning of my projects. So these details uh, on this one as well. But this is a good size. I can see myself using this pretty much all throughout the project. This is a good tool for that. The spoon, it's wonderful to have a spoon because sometimes you're just in that 
niche where you're like, how am I going to get that off of there? And how am I going to get that, you, you know, in that little crevice? And a spoon will do it for you. So a spoon is really important to have. And I think that definitely will be used as well, just not as often as I do the other tools. These here and these here will probably get used constantly uh, throughout, from the beginning to the very end. Um, they'll be used to remove material and in the roughing stages, and they'll be also used to um, the detail stages as well. So I think that Shaft has come up with a good product, and their kits are really good too. They have a good variety of chisels within each kit that can be useful to a beginner or a journeyman or a master even. Um, it's really nice. The steel is robust and thicker than other leading brands and you know by using a mallet on the tools as well I don't think you're endangering the tool at all. Overall I'm really happy with it so I recommend them.